Today, I have some very exciting news. Todd Howard, out of all people, Todd motherfucking Howard, gave me early access to Doom 3, the highly anticipated video game. Todd said I could play the first three levels on my YouTube channel today. This is very exciting news. I graciously accepted this offer because I know that Todd Howard is the one type of person to make a never buggy game. So pre-alpha should not be that bad. Hopefully. So we're now in the game and we can see that Todd obviously made some very drastic changes. Doom is obviously known for the Doom guy. This is the only man on earth that just by giving him a single look increases testosterone levels by 35%. So the fact that he changed to short anime woman might put some people off, but I think Todd knows what he's doing. He's been proven to be a pretty smart guy, so I think we need to wait until the full game release in 2028. Jumping into the full game, I just gotta say, Todd... You're a fucking genius. This is such a great game. For only three levels, there's so many different types of enemies. You got one zombie character that is just the same PNG reused over and over. You got a single pig. And then you got this reaper guy, which is kind of a badass that takes a total of two shots to kill, making a super difficult game, which Doom is obviously known for. So I'm very thankful that Todd went above and beyond to keep the Doom franchise there. See, I'm, I just died right there. That's the, what I really want from a Doom game is to die. Look at that, we just died again. So obviously the challenge of Doom is still there. This does not mean I'm a shitty gamer, it just means the game's dead. So we're about to come into contact with the final Reaper. This is supposed to be the toughest enemy in the game. And he took three shots. See, that's how the progression system works in this game. It goes from two to three. Incredible. So we're on our way right here to beat the first mission of Doom 3, and I gotta say, I think this was a very promising start to our game. As long as there's a good diversified amount of levels, we got another great Doom franchise game on our hands here. Look at that, it just, it just ends. There's nothing else to it, you just open the cage after killing 12 Reapers, and you're done. That's how much effort Todd puts into his games right here. This is the bitch we just saved, really? Going into the second mission, we can already see a great increase in diversified levels. We started off in kind of a small, depressing little town, but we're already moving up to a pirate bay, which I'm happy to report has two different PNG zombies. We have this small little child and a pirate zombie. This is just incredible work on the team at Bethesda who worked on Doom 3. And, of course, I mean, I'd be mistaken to forget Todd Howard himself, the GOAT, the legend. This is incredible, and will probably cement Todd Howard as one of the greatest developers of all time. So we're at the end of level 2, and I gotta say, I'm slightly upset that it's the exact same thing as level 1, except we're saving a different bitch. I really hope that level 3 can kind of change up the gameplay and not just the environment. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Gotta say, level 3, kind of upsetting. Not much to love in level 3. It's kind of dark and gloomy, and not much new. So the main levels showed some promise, but what we didn't get too much of was the gameplay. So what I feel like I should do is they actually have an ability to do survival, which Todd Howard gave to me to just be able to kind of go through and mess the gameplay. So I'm going to start and just try survival in the small town for a little bit to actually get a feel of what the combat is like. This 
this might be the end of me. That was a dumb mistake to go into that building. Oh, fuck. Yep, I'm dead. There's no way. Yep. Well, I mean, it was a good run while it lasted, and I, I definitely feel like I got more of what Todd Howard's ambitions were. This game is a very challenging game. I take it all back, this game is incredibly fucking easy. All you have to do is get the sniper rifle and boom, everyone dies. One shot. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, wait, shit. Look at that. Look at that. It's just, the, you kill a pig in one shot, you kill him in one shot, you kill him in one It's just, it's so hard to lose. Like, I mean, look at this. Two pigs, boom, boom, boom. They're dead. They can't even compete with my sniper rifle. It's, it's actually... Todd needs to try, like, this is, they need to take the sniper rifle out of the game, because it is, look at that, Reaper, one shot, it's dead, like, look at this guy, one shot, he's dead, I mean, so, if you're going to play Doom 3, just go for the sniper rifle. So, after playing Doom 3, my thoughts are, perfect 10 out of 10, baby, greatest game that will ever come out, this will top all the fucking charts of best games ever. Half-Life 2, get out of here. Halo Combat Evolved, get out of here. This is the new greatest game of all time. Todd Howard's done it again. Except Todd Howard fucking sucks and cannot make a good game that can come out with just not 80% bug worth.